Hey everybody, this is Justice Fool. Hoping you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be going back to the Ocean Monument, clearing it out. Uh, I need to get those sea lanterns up and running, get that guardian farm going. So let's start heading over that way. Boopy doopy doo. Yeah, if you don't remember uh, last episode, uh, we did a lot of the walls here. I had a bunch of concrete laying around just waiting to be uh, waiting to be placed up. Everything's looking good so far. I've actually been thinking, before we go out to the Guardian Farm, or the Monument right now, kind of thinking about this area. It seems a little too, like, big and flat. I'm wondering if I should separate the sections out, maybe, like, right here to right over here, something like that. This stuff is also going to move eventually, too. But taking like section between like about there, about there, and pulling it back a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. But yeah, uh, pulling it back probably somewhere around here. Give it a little more depth, a little more angles going on. Because yeah, right now this is just like a big giant flat wall. It doesn't really look that good. Need to give it a little more depth. So I'll do that at some point eventually. I'll kind of move it back a little bit, see how that looks. Uh, but for right now, let's quickly check the uh, mob dropper that's back here. boop doo boop doo to the mob dropper. So let's see what we got going on here. Maybe clear it out a little bit because I think it's starting to fill up. Yep, getting a bunch of stuff here. Oh, that reminds me too. Uh, I got a couple of announcements to make. Uh, one big one is I'm actually working on, let me actually get up here. So I'm actually working on some other uh, tutorial type projects. Uh, and to make time for that, I'm actually not going to do the Mega Mansion videos like the traditional sort of YouTube videos for the Mega Mansion. I'm going to reserve those kinds of videos for, um, mainly for the tutorials, because I got a bunch of things that I have lined up and I just need the time to do it. I don't have a ton of time these days, so I got to use it wisely. And then, yeah, the big project, like this Mega Mansion project, will be reserved for the live streams like this. So that's the... Yeah, that's the big one right there is that I'm not going to be doing the uh, like the regular YouTube videos for the Mega Mansion anymore. Another thing with that too is I did have a video in the works of me making this, but I don't know for sure yet if I'm going to actually ever make it for a few reasons. Uh, one of them was a lot of things went wrong during the video, like making the video. Uh, if I can sneak in here real quick without doing too much damage. So you see all this stuff is uh, kind of bulldozed out all the way to the bottom there. I thought I was recording myself doing that, but it turns out it wasn't. Is that water down there? Why is there water down there? Uh, that might be something I have to check out, actually. There should not be water down there. Yeah, so I'm glad I actually came here. I need to check that out. That shouldn't be down there. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, 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 boy. This is not good. This is not good. Um... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh boy, oh boy. This this didn't go the way I planned on it. Oh jeez, yeah, there's a lot of things here. Uh, okay. Do I have any blocks on me? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. So, where was I? Um... Yeah, I got to figure out what that water was there. I don't know why that's there. 
Uh, but also, yeah, so while recording the video making this, a lot of things went wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so for one thing, almost all of the recording I did for me digging down here that I was going to use for a lot of my B footage never recorded for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how it happened. I it it said I'll let that pass. Yeah, it said I was recording when I was doing it, but it like didn't record for some reason. I don't know why. So that was something weird. And then other times I forgot to record. So a lot of like the important stuff I did was never actually recorded. So yeah, right now I just have a ton of what's mainly B footage right now. Let me see if I can get my way out of here. Probably end up getting into the water. That's all right. But yeah, I just have mainly a ton of B footage of it. And no, like, very little footage of me, uh, like, actually talking or anything like that, because it just never recorded for some weird reason. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is I was going through a bunch of tunnels lighting stuff up. That's about most of the rest of the footage, and nothing really happened in there. So all the footage I have is of me... I think I have like one where I explain how the whole track works down there. And the rest of it is just like me putting torches in a tunnel. And that's like all the footage I have for it. So not exactly the most enthralling of videos. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with that. But then at the same time, I don't know if I want to. Mainly again, just because... You know, oh, found water. Cool. But yeah, I don't know if I really want to do anything with that. Just because I have, like, there's nothing I can, I can really do with that. So, yeah. That's what's going on with that video. Um, I do have other videos, like I said, in the works, but they're all tutorial type videos. I'm actually really excited for those. There's a bunch of cool ones that I've wanted to do for a while. And I got a few of those coming in. So yeah, I want to also focus more on doing those kind of videos too. But first, I do want to get rid of that water there. I have no idea where that came from. Yeah, there shouldn't be water there. I'll just take one bucket. I think that's all I need. And I'll take a few. And then I want to drop these bones off somewhere. I'll drop them off in here, good as place as any. I do like having that dropper though, it has been nice. And as you can tell, it gave me a ton of bones. And that's some good stuff right there. Definitely helpful having those bones. But yeah, I just need to get rid of that water there. It's definitely going to be affecting the drop rates. As you saw, a lot of things were down there and they had survived. And there's a creeper there for some reason. Don't know why. Let's see here. Go and drop. Oh, uh, here it is. That's what's causing it. Oh geez, oh geez, okay, here we go. So I just gotta patch up this hole here. Oh, come on, don't do that. All right, that should fix the problem there. I think this was part of the tunnels I was digging out here. Let's see, is there a better way out of here? Problem is there's so many tunnels around here I had to dig through. Actually, I do need gravel. So whenever I find these gravel patches, gotta definitely dig through here. 
need all this gravel for the concrete. So any chance I get, and they also got iron. Any fans of this channel know I do love my iron. Try and get it as often as I can. And we'll just relight this area up. I do actually need more torches. I suppose I don't need any for the uh, ocean monument per se. Let me see if I can figure out how I get out of here. How do I get out of here? Is this just one of those tunnels that just led to nothing? Or did I go the wrong way? I think it's just one of those tunnels that went nowhere. Oh, maybe. Oh, wait. I think I have to go up here. Maybe I have to go up here. Ooh, more gravel, though. There's my shovel. Oh, there's a lot of gravel in here. I am okay with that. Might possibly end up being a problem. This looks pretty dark up here. Probably going to get some mobs spawning up here. Maybe I can pull... Was that a diamond? Oh, okay, I thought I saw like a diamond door there. Maybe I can pull one of these torches here. I don't know if I can or not. Is that gold? Yeah. I don't really want gold right now. Got more gravel though. And then all kinds of gravel here. Hope this doesn't go into the dropper. So I can hear mobs going on in here. Ooh. Ooh, that is that's something there. That's uh that's a lot of guys there. Looks like the water stopped though, so that's good. You can toss some die right here, that's fine. Uh you have any like kind of redundant torches? is fine here. Okay, that's enough brightness for that area. Drop a torch off in here. That should be good for there. Uh, I still need to get out of here, though. Still not sure how to do that. What about this area here? It's got a light level of 10, so that should be fine. I think I gotta go up here though. And maybe up here? Ooh, more gravel. I didn't even know all this gravel was in here. It's good because I've been finding lots of sand, but I need the gravel to accompany it. I haven't been having as much luck uh, with the gravel up top, but here. Seems to be everywhere now. And I kind of wish I had some wood on me so I could make some torches. These areas are definitely going to start spawning mobs. Like 100% going to spawn mobs. Unless I grab some water and flood the area. Can I do that? Let me see if I can grab some water in here. Yeah, if I flood these areas, they won't spawn mobs. So that's the next best option. Where'd it go? I lost my spot. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Go up here. Oh, here it was. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll work for now, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll do nothing. 
But at least I tried. I have no knowledge of how to get out of here. Like when I was torching up this place, I just went everywhere. I was like, okay, this, this all needs torches here. This needs to be lit up here. And there's just going to be a bunch of dead ends. So yeah, I have no idea where anything is at right now. Uh, I don't want to dig anywhere because I could probably dig right into the dropper area. I definitely don't want to do that. Come here. All right. Ah, these cave networks, they're so huge. Give me some coal, though. Could use that to uh, help repair the pickaxe. You know, when I was placing these torches down, I just kind of put them wherever. Started putting them on the ground, too, because then it more evenly lit up the area. I think... I'm going to have to do, instead of just trying to figure out where I need to go, is I'm just going to start digging up and hope for the best. you got to get somewhere doing this. Where am I at right now? 51? So I should be close to either the surface or the water. And I'll take either one right now. Surface. Surface it is then. I wonder where in the surface I am. Okay, I know where I'm at. Just gotta go this way. Okay, I just want to triple check the dropper, make sure everything's all... Uh, all good to go. The water's not down there anymore. I may potentially... No, I was thinking I might uh, like go in there and just kill the mobs that are in there. But I don't know if I want to do that. I think they might despawn eventually. I don't really see anything down there now. Another project I want to do too is uh, work on this system here a little bit. Because right now the water kind of stays activated for a long time. And I want the water to pop out and maybe like something like 10 seconds later pop back down. Because right now it just stays open for like a few minutes. So that's something that I could probably work on later. But yeah, that's a, that's a project for another time. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, we'll leave that for another time. It still is working. Actually, one thing I want to do too. Got a string here, that's nice. But speaking of string, there's also a bunch of string in here. Sand, gravel. That's probably from when I dropped down there. Um, yeah, if I can turn this string into wool, that would be nice, too. And gunpowder. Gunpowder will be useful for maybe some TNT. I don't know when I need TNT. Uh, if I ever get elytra, then I can use them for the uh, fireworks, or the rockets, whatever they're called. But, uh, yeah, as I don't have... Elytra right now, it's not very useful. But let me drop off this gravel. Then we can finally start heading over to the ocean monument. Okay, now that's going in there, we'll put the bone meal in here too. Can I turn this into wool? I can. 32 white wool, sweet. 
put that in there. That'll be useful for later. I'll drop off my cobblestone right here. My random stuff here. I actually have sand too. I should drop that off over over here as well. Wrong one. This one. And dirt. Oh, I should have dropped off the indesite too. I'll drop that off in my junk box here. Yeah, just like that. Oop. I'm gonna keep a water bucket with me. Always good to have a water bucket. So how much glass do I have smelted so far? I got a pretty good amount. That's doing pretty good. Make a oops. Can make two more blocks here. Put a block in each of these. Let it keep going. I'm um, eventually going to need to find some uh, a blue dye. Not find blue dye, but... Oh wait, I need to be this way for the nether portal. Not find blue dye, find the uh, blue flowers, whatever they're called, to make the blue dye. So I want to have it be like a blue dye. That's all the glass is going to go around the... Uh, the Guardian Farm, so you can kind of see in it, kind of gives it a cool look. But yeah, I need a uh, blue dye for that, and I don't know where any is right now. There might actually be some, actually something else I want to do too, now that I'm thinking about it. I want to relocate the, uh, the nether portal I have in here that goes to the Guardian Farm. So that way it actually ends up on the island where it's supposed to. Because right now it ends up kind of like in the middle of the sea for some reason. And I'd like for it to actually go right to the nether portal that's on the island right now. So once I go through it this time around, I'll get its location. I'll have to let's get away from that ghast. I don't wanna I don't wanna fight him right now. Um, but yeah, so I want to get the coordinates of where the uh, nether portals are on the island that's right next to the uh, ocean monument. And then figure out the appropriate place to place the new portal in, uh, in the nether. So that way I can relocate. Because right now, like I said, it just takes me into the middle of the ocean and I don't want any of that. I want to actually be... You know, I want to actually end up on the ocean instead of having to go for a swim every time. Yeah, I finally lit up this area here so I could actually tell, like, not skip past it like I always do. Just navigating through here. Might have to eventually go out and do some uh, quartz mining too. That'd be helpful. Might need quartz later on. There's something that kind of looks like uh, looks like pillar material. I think it's quartz, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I've seen it before in other series where it makes it look like pillars. And I always thought it came from quartz, but I don't know if it does or not. I need to test it out. What's going on there? Oh, he's shooting at me. Little jerk. There's a lot of gravel in here. So that's good to know, too. I do know there are pockets of gravel throughout the nether. But yeah. Like right when I go through this portal here, once I get out the other side. Yeah, like right here. You see it just takes me to like this random place out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to gather up some of this obsidian here. Just need ten. I 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oop, I fell. I went all the way down. But yeah, right now I gotta swim all the way over there. It's kind of a pain. Yeah, this is a total hassle here. I mean, it's fine if I have a boat, but I don't always have a boat. There's an old storm out on the sea going. What is that there? That looks weird. Got a drowned coming after me. Oh yeah. I should probably light up that island too. That'd be helpful. And kill this guy. Ooh, he had a gold bar. Interesting. I didn't know they carried gold bars. There's a few more. Yeah, probably definitely very advantageous to uh, light up this island here at some point. It is just crawling with mobs. And they're coming after me too. Thankfully they don't uh, swim very fast. Oh geez. All right, well, I'm in range of the uh, ocean monument, or the, uh, what is that called? I forget what that's called. Conduit, conduit, yes, yeah, the conduit. I'm in range of the conduit. So now I gotta go through this crazy process. Oh, actually, dang it. I just remembered I should have brought sponges with me. I had them all dried out and everything. Dang it. Dang it, Justice Fool. Why you gotta do this? Well, you can at least figure out what these blocks are here. So, what was that? So we got 37, 90, 12, 68. 37, 90, 12, 68. Gotta remember that. 37, 90, 12, 68. 3790 1268 3790 1268 3790 1268 Okay, I got it typed down. Now let me go into a uh, nether portal calculator and type those coordinates in. I am unfortunately going to have to go back. Actually, no I don't. I'm in the nether. This is where I need to be. Actually, I don't know if I have a uh, flint and steel on me. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't. So I need to go to 474 and then 159. I need to go this way. And this way. Let's see how far we can get in here. Four seventy four and then one fifty nine, so right here. Do do and then do 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 do. Oh, I don't even have two iron on me or a flint or anything like that, dang it. 
Uh, I don't know if I think I might have one on the island, but I'm not sure. All right, well, I have that at least. I also don't have torches to mark my way over here either. I am very not prepared for this. Okay, where do I need to go? This way. I'm gonna try. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna try and go back to the island, which is over there. Because I have the chest there. It might have my flint and steel in it. I don't know for sure. Uh, real quick here, let me get some air first. Hang on real quick. A second. Okay. a second again okay there we are just had to shimmy around my windows there oh god there are so many mobs there uh, I don't know if I can even get there safely I got a trail of drowned coming after me. I got some zombies and spiders over there. Got a skeleton over there. I can just sneak up here quick as I can. Nope. Okay. Oh, geez. They're pushing me out of here, too. They're actually not really doing any damage to me. I must have really good armor on. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back to base. Well, I guess I have to go back to base anyway, regardless. Dang it, guys, stop pushing me. Yeah, I got it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Keep pushing me around here. Yeah, that's right. Burn. Yeah, so I gotta go back to base anyway, because I gotta get the sponges. Should also get torches and a flint and steel. So that's my laundry list of things. Ah, oh, such a long trip though. I really need like a a boat on packed ice through here. Like as a straight shot. That would be sweet. That's something I really need. Yeah, because this just, this takes forever. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. There we go. Yeah, this whole process here, this is an ordeal. To go from my base to the ocean monument there. But it is something I do. Something I twill do. Be do be do 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 do
Fun times. Coming through here, coming through here. Drop down here. I guess I can go a little faster in these tunnels here because of this. A little jump in action here. Here we are. Can I sleep now? Oh. Guess not. Do I have torches? Thought I had torches. that I don't need right now. Uh, sponges, flint and steel. Actually, the flint and steel I think might be in here in my junk drawer. Uh, maybe not. I can make one though. Here we go. So I got flint and steel now. And the big one I need are the sponges. Should be, where'd they go? Oh, I think I moved them over here, that's right. There we go. Um, should probably also make a couple furnaces bring some coal with me so I can kind of dry out the sponges as I go. That would actually be smart. Uh, was it? We'll make two. those off. We'll get some coal, which is here. All right, cool. I think we can make this work. Now back to the monument. streaming for how long now and we're just about ready to get started on the monument effective use of time do do jump 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 jumpity jump I really need 
a faster way to get through here. I need to find a stronghold. That's another thing I should do. Find a stronghold. Get some Eyes of Ender going on. So then I could finally get an Elytra. Although I'd need to kill the Ender Dragon first. I've never actually done that before. Uh, but yeah, after I somehow managed to kill the Ender Dragon, find me an Elytra somewhere, and this whole journey go a lot faster. Unfortunately, I have to do a lot of things first to get that Elytra. But yeah, that would be nice. This journey sucks. But I am pretty sure I have everything I need this time around. Still got my torches? Yep, still got plenty of torches. Got my flint and steel, and I got my sponges. I got the important stuff. I'm going to actually put some there so I can mark off this new path that I need to take. Right over this way, I believe. Ooh. There's a skeleton over there. I have to arm myself against this guy. And I gotta go through here. And that's a ghast. And I'll kind of mark this doorway here. And it should be obvious this is the uh, portal here. All right, let's see if these calculations worked. Let's see if I end up on the island. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right on the island. And this island's got a lot of sand too. That's also good to know. Need some sand for that concrete later on. But for right now, I'm going to hop myself onto this boat. Travel right on over to this here monument. Start clearing her out. All right, so how do I want to do this? I think we'll go room at a time. Put a sponge there. I'm going to use it to kind of clear out spots like this. Yeah, that's working out. Yeah, this area is all cleared out. So I'll get these guys going on in a furnace to dry out. Plane to furnace here. So while they're drying out, Go in here. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I don't know if this is the most effective way of doing this. Uh, it's looking like it's not. So let's try something else here. Oh, geez. All right, looks like I can seal off this area. And I can do something like that. Get some torches in here. Stop any spawning from occurring. 
Make sure we'll get them up on the, oops. Get them up on the wall here. I'm gonna clear some of this out here. And we go. Yep, so we got these couple rooms now nice and cleared out. And get some blocks here. So yeah, I think the what I need to do now is just section everything out. Since this all has to be cleared out anyway. Might as well have at it. And just keep these areas as cleared out as I can. But yeah, I'll take some a uh, bunch of stuff in here. And then I'll use it out there to uh, kind of section everything off so that the sponges actually can grab it. And you need to stop poking holes in everything. Ah. Keep going in the wrong places. So yeah, I think I'll just take the floor out of this area here. And once I do that, I should have enough to work in little sections out there. Put the sponges in there and then that'll absorb everything. Yeah, so we got a nice big room here. And we'll just chug our way in through here. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Those guys hit hard, and I did not want to do that. create little sections like this. Clear these out with water, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Grab these sponges while I'm at it. And now I got this whole section cleared out. And how many wet sponges do I have? Seven. All right, nine. I can use a furnace, start clearing. Start drying these ones out here. And then whilst that's going, we're gonna do, 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 wrong one, okay. I'm gonna go right on out here eventually. Come on, come on. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, 
Oh boy. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to concentrate without dying. Easier said than done. Grab these sponges here. Yeah, I don't want to waste these sponges. They are very valuable. And kind of just go around like that. Boom, got another section down. Any other sponges in here? Yeah, I have this one. And then I'll take these ones. Yeah, I'll just keep going through here doing that. Keep these areas lit up just in case mobs decide they want to try and spawn in here. Can't allow that. Another good section here. Actually, this is a good section in here, too. Oh, we got a hole in the ceiling here. Fix that. Light this area up. All right, that's one more area. Oh, almost one more area. Awesome, okay. Got all the sponges out of there. Seal this off here. And I'll sponge up this area. here. Start drying those puppies off. Put those up there. Should probably start taking down some of these walls so I can get some of these blocks back. This area here. All these blocks got to come down eventually anyway, so, you know, might as well do it now. Essentially just need a one straight shot all the way up to the top. For the guardians, once they spawn, just go whoo, right up there. Just like, oh geez. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Uh, let me eat up first. Oh, nope. block I'm into place. That's right, I'll get that furnace in a second here. Get out of 
out of here. For now. For now he can get out of here. And recover the sponge here. got one guardian here just bouncing around yeah once we get this uh, this whole thing cleared out they'll be bouncing around a lot more oh, I really am looking forward to this farm being built these guardian farms are a pain in the ass to build but once they're built man the XP you get out of them is crazy and uh, give you a bunch of the ingredients for the sea lanterns, which are going to be very useful in a mansion build. Any kind of modern build, really, they're useful. But especially when you want to do some kind of more modern. They just have that kind of modern appeal to them, I feel. Okay. Oh boy, guardians are peeking around there. Yeah, I hate that you can only go through these doors like really slow. What's up here? Can clear this area up too, actually. Just need to block it off from the outside world. Yeah, this would be a good area to clear out. Nice tight corridors here. I didn't really want to place a sponge there, but that's all right. Go do -do. It's getting dark in here. Oh yeah, I should probably lock that out. And... Oh yeah, definitely lock this out too. That'll cause problems. All right, well, we cleared out a lot of this top area, so that's cool. here. Oh, yeah, let's close this out too.
What's down here? So many random rooms inside of an ocean monument. I don't even know where I am a lot of times. I do know I probably need to get back to the main area. So I can start, uh, oh boy. Can I swim past these guys here? I know there's gonna be a bunch of gold in there. Yeah, I need to replenish my uh, sponge supply. three in there. Should be enough. And right back to where I started. See if I can seal off this area before they notice me. Oh, they noticed me. Heal myself up here. I did not mean to do that. Come on, get through here. And in here, sealed off. sealed off. One more guardian fighting for his life. Get this guy back. Get these guys back. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Come on. Seal these off. But hey, man, we're getting there. We are definitely getting somewhere. Toss a few more in there. Toss a few more of those guys. I mean, this area is being cleared out. Kind of, sort of, very slowly. Let's go on a block recovery mission here. Whoa, what was that? You know, he launched up in the air for some reason. You know, in the middle of here are those gold blocks. I think I might have to uh, reward myself with them. Once I clear out this area, of course. Yeah, I think I should go ahead and uh, 
reward myself with a whole bunch of gold blocks right in the middle here. Hey, I mean, you know, I do have to clear this area out eventually. Woohoo, I'm rich. Oh yeah, eight gold blocks. sponge back what are you doing in here guardian this is not the kind of area you would want to be in right now I'm going to have to do something about you yeah like that come on come on Come on. All right, is that all of it? That's all of it. Okay. from ah oh, here it is you are very annoying here. Alright, this should be a pretty easy area to clear out the water from. real quick. Come on, in we go. In we go. Oh boy. actually been going pretty good. Overall, it hasn't been that tough. Just kind of more like boring, repetitive work, but you know, otherwise, been a pretty simple run so far. That middle part was the one I was most concerned about just because of like how many guardians are always in there. But yeah, it wasn't actually that bad. Come 
my day. here. I suppose this would do something. actually cleared out of water so far. So I feel like I've got a pretty good chunk of it gone so far. Should probably also repair my pickaxe too. Got to be some areas around here. Uh, with some coal blocks, ideally. Actually, I can go into the nether, just mine some quartz. That would be good, too. Let me just get some torches on these walls here. Got a lot of sponges that are ready to go. These sponges are very useful. I'm glad I have them. Oops, not what I want to replace. Here we are. tougher. Those are pretty big. Do you gotta make sure to seal it off here? Let me try in these narrow hallways to start though. It's doing something. Definitely doing something here. Just trying to figure out how much do I need to section off? Probably an area this size at least. It's possible even this is too big. What if I start up here first and kind of work my way down? That was good. Get some torches up here. Yeah, this is actually going pretty well. No, I've been saying that, but you know, I imagined it'd be a lot more difficult than this. Like, I kind of imagined I'd be dying all the time. Guardians would just be like killing me like every five seconds. But no, this has actually been pretty easy. I'm kind of surprised. Almost left a sponge here. No sponge left behind. That's my motto. Seal off a good area here. Oops. 
It's so dark in here. Let's see how those other sponges are. Where did I even come from? I thought I came from this hall. Did I come from this hall? Oh. Maybe I came from here. Oh, I didn't come from here, but that is a good shortcut. That should be enough. Got me a few more of those guys. Oh, got a got a guardian friend there. Right, I'm going big for this one. Oh boy, is this too big? Is it too big or is it just right? that up first. Yeah, I think it's definitely better to go start up higher and then go down. So that way it's less likely to be taken over by source blocks. Those source blocks have a nasty habit of uh, multiplying if they're up high like that. This area now. Just going through here. Ooh. Didn't even see that guy there. seen any? I feel like I must have lost at least one or two sponges to just misplacing it or something at some point. See, so I have 31 here, 28, 29. Well, I think that's right. I think that's about how many I should have. Yeah, I don't think I lost any yet. Which is good. Really hate to lose these sponges. I still can't believe I got these sponges. There have been like so many times I go into an ocean monument. They have like no sponges at all. This one I go into has like two full rooms of sponges. Give me almost like a full stack of sponge. A stack of sponge. That's what I got. It just sounds like... I don't know, maybe that sounds like it'd be like a weird band name. Stack of sponge. Maybe that's just me, though. Just be like, you heard that new band? It's called Stack of Sponge. Of course, it has to be spelled with an O. Stack O Sponge. Because, you know, it's a cool band. All the cool bands do that. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm not even sure how I get on these tangents sometimes. You know, one second you're talking about sponges, the next second you're talking about bands with peculiar names. And just, these things escalate out of control really quickly. Oh boy. I'm gonna combine these up here.
Nope, 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 nope. going on? I thought I got rid of all these guys here. Yeah, I gotta be careful with my torches too. Kind of running low on these guys. Actually, going back a little while uh, to the guardian farm and how useful it is. It's also useful if you have tools like uh, that have mending on them or anything that has mending on them to heal them out because you get tons of experience from these guys. So that's another useful thing, therefore. I don't know why I just thought of that now. Just randomly thinking of things. No, 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 no. I'm getting rid of your water. I'm getting rid of your water. Your water's going away. Your water's going bye bye. Your water's going bye bye. Accept your fate. Accept your fate. This is your fate. Where's this water coming from? Stop spawning water. I wonder if now that because the guardians have like much fewer spaces to spawn in here, they're just like flooding the outside of the monument. I feel like they probably are. And this probably could have been done more efficiently, but I was kind of uh, panicking a little bit. Yeah, because I put down a ton of sponges. And I could definitely tell the uh, source blocks were starting to fill it all back up anyway. Yeah, 29 wet sponges. That's a lot. Used up all my wet sponges practically. What I can do though, is I do have this guy here. Put half in there. Actually, I'll put a little more than half in there. Since this has already got some, 16, 18. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll grab these guys here and let's be on our way. <laughs> this room already looks kind of cleared out. Is there anything beneath me? Oh, there is. This guy's just in here all by his lonesome. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a chore to clear out. Like, for real clear out. I think this is the bottom area, yeah. So I don't need to dig down any more than that. I 
do kind of sort of wish I had, uh, what is it, Silk Touch? Just so I can get these lanterns out. Yeah, but that's all right, though. Oh. Okay, so definitely not ready for that yet. Not ready for that part. I do know I can go the other way. And I think this way over here still needs to be cleared out. Get any more sponges? Pick up these few more. Start heading out this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's still plenty to do over on this side. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lots to do over here. Actually, I wonder. I'm gonna be bold here. I don't know if this is gonna actually work out. So I should start from this highest area here, work my way down. Yeah, as you can see, the level's starting to fall here. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Should probably eat up first. Light up the area a little bit. I am kind of playing a little fast and loose here. Kind of being risky with this. I'm not really separating it out as much as I probably should. Yeah, just like this though. I mean, it's getting the job done. It's also getting me killed here. Oh boy, come on, come on, get out of here. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. Let me heal up real quick before I venture in there again. Even collect some of these guys. some of these guys back into the furnace. This is working. This area is being cleared of water slowly but surely. Although I'm having to go through a lot of sponges to do it though. So is it worth it? Well, while I answer that question, I'm going to continue doing this. Oh, I should probably get up higher here. Yeah, always need to start with the highest up water. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. You return for some more sponges over here. I 
I'm going through sponges like crazy. Two coal there and two coal there should clear those out. I only have 11 sponges left here. Got to use those wisely. Ah, uh, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, sea lanterns and XP. Mainly sea lanterns. I gotta keep telling myself that. This is for the sea lanterns. This is for the sea lanterns, just as full. You're doing it for the lanterns. Don't forget about the lanterns. It'll be worth it. Oh, that's all the sponges. Man, there's a lot of sponges here. Nope. I'm in like this weird position where I can't really swim like that, but I also can't walk. So I have to go like stupidly slow. This room is being cleared out, though. I mean, you can't say it's not being cleared out. Come on. Come on. Okay. That was an ordeal. sponges back. Time to chow down and press on. Yeah, I think part of the trick is to get these sponge blocks down before the source blocks can take over and do their source block thing, replace all the water. Yes, we got it. Sweet. Go around here. Go around the edge here. Light everything up a little bit. And we'll kill these guardians off, I suppose. A bit annoying. They deserve it. Exhausting. What was that? Those guardians better not be attacking me. Oh, I think they might be attacking the like squid that are out there or something. 
You know, like how sometimes the squid wander a little too close to uh, the ocean monument and then they just get zapped to death. Pretty sure that's what happened. Sorry, I'm being a little quiet here. I'm just focusing. Laser-like focus. Cool. This whole area is all nice and cleared out. And I got 25 sponges. Make sure that's all of them. I'm still surprised I haven't left any sponges behind. I thought for, for sure by now I'd have left at least one or two behind. I might have, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how many I came in with. I think it was like 62, I think is what it was, because it was like just shy of a stack. And I have 15 wet ones, 25 dry, or 15 dry, 25 wet. That's 40, 49, 58, Then 59, 60. Ooh, I am missing two. I am missing two of them. Interesting. I wonder where they could be. Actually, there might potentially be one up here. So I know I did place a couple of them up here. I don't know if I ever got them. Oh, it looks like I did. They're not in here. Well, as I'm going through here, clearing everything out, I'll probably come across them. how much of this monument I've cleared out by now. Well, we got a whole new room here. And a whole new guardian that needs to die. Ooh, this one's got a hole in it. Got another hole in it. Yeah, I hate to waste sponges on areas like that where it's just like one block I gotta solve, or not solve, but plug. Yeah, just little things like that. You don't need to waste a sponge on that. I do wonder though, where did that those two sponges go that I apparently misplaced? It is odd. Well, like I said, when I'm like really chewing through here, clearing stuff out, I'll probably find it. But until then, I still got most of them. Uh, 
I'll wait to collect a few more in there. Yeah, so... Okay, there's one more room. I thought this was the uh, entrance to the temple. Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. There was a lot of lasers focused at me for a second there. That was concerning. Die, 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 die. Okay, let's go on straight to the top. How about this one here? This one's also got straight to the top here. Patch that up a little bit. And sneak around into here. Being attacked. I do not appreciate how hard it is to kill these guardians, though. It's not very nice of them. part of the area that I already cleared out. Alright, I'll put you out of your misery. Hang on. There we go. It's all over now. So that out there is the entrance to the Guardian Farm. Or what do I call the Guardian Farm? It's the uh, Ocean Monument. Yeah, that's the entrance to the Ocean Monument out there. I'll start opening this up. I think this is actually one of the sponge rooms. Funny enough, using sponges to clear the sponge room. Sense of sweet justice in that, I suppose. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery. There's two of them up there? I thought there was only one. It's also dark in here. Let's light it up a little bit. Die. Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. Alright, that looks good. 
get a few more sponges. Get that going. Dig through some sections wall. I'm pretty sure that's outside. Yep, that's outside. So we can avoid that area. And what about, yep, that's gravel down there, so that's the bottom. I think I'm beginning to run out of places to go. Starting to get most of the uh, monument here. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do with the monument here is uh, not necessarily clear it out completely, but just make sure that there's just a straight shot all the way up to the top. That's how I've usually built them. It's a little bit faster than clearing everything out just in totality. And it doesn't really make much of a difference, too. So you just do things like that right here, just like that. Let me pillar my way up here. bridge over to here. Ooh. Oh, here's one sponge. There's one of the sponges I was missing. I wonder if there's another one up here. But yeah, as long as there's just a straight shot all the way up to the top, the guardians can just shoot right up there. Okay, this is the very top. I'm pretty sure if I go through here. Yep, that's outside. So yeah, I'm just going to start start from up here, work my way down. Maybe even leave these pillars here. They're not getting in the way of anything right now. As long as it's like a nice, smooth, straight shot all the way to the top, I can avoid clearing it out. Saves me a little extra time. And still maintains the viability of the farm. So I think it's a win-win for everyone. Especially since this is probably not the most entertaining thing any of you could be watching. Cause it's definitely not the most entertaining thing I could be doing. Ooh, we got a spot here. Yep, this gives me a distinct advantage right here. I can just avoid all their attacks. Just start killing them, killing them dead. And there's a bunch in here, all over the place. Come on, come on.
Oh, can't forget that sponge. Actually, a bunch of sponges. Yeah, let me get up here real quick. Definitely don't want to leave these guys behind. Remember, no sponge left behind. That is my motto. That's the motto of this mission. Done did good. I think we done did good. I'm going to kind of just go around the monument real quick, see if I find anything. Any more pockets of water? I feel like there should definitely be more pockets of water left. Somewhere around here. But I'm going to a bunch of places and I'm not seeing anything. I think I did a pretty good job clearing this area out. This was all looking pretty empty here. Venture into oh geez, that's a lot of guardians. Yeah, I was I was right. They uh they can't spawn in here, so they are spawning out there instead. That was a lot. That was that was a lot of guardians. blocks in here. Oh yeah, I started up here. Oh, there's a sponge. think I did good oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy get out of here I'm gonna hide under here take that out of my hands Actually, should probably get back under here. Yeah, because I want to get my sponges. Got to keep these guys. Yeah, so I have 61 sponges and I came with 62, so I lost one somewhere. And it's better than two. So yeah, this is all the outer edge of the monument here. Ooh. Yep, all this in here. All this in here, and then this, I believe, is the front. Yep, 
Yep, this is all the front here. Still the front. Oh boy, yeah. Still a lot of guardians out there. Still a chock full of guardians. That hasn't changed. Um, I'm going to say that the mission here was a success. And I'm going to stick with that. You hear water flowing though. Shouldn't be hearing water flowing. I think it's coming from over here. It might just be from the outside. I don't think there's water flowing sounds from outside though. There's something. Okay. Here's water flowing. Oh, that's also from outside. Nope. nope. That works. All right. I think since I uh, got this thing all cleared out, I think I'll call it a night and a success. Alrighty. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my normal spot. So in lieu of that, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later.